What's up everybody, this is Lewis from Best Dev Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to create a child theme in WordPress. So you can see here I have the WordPress 2017 theme here. Uh, it's a fresh install. If I go over to my admin panel, you can see that this is the active theme. There are two other inactive themes that come along with WordPress. And let's get started. So I'm going to go over to my root directory here and I'm going to go to WP content and then themes where we have the folders for those themes that we just saw here and we're going to want to add our own so I'll create a new directory here and my company is East Side Code so I'll just call my theme here EC theme and you can name it uh, whatever you'd like so mine is East Side theme, uh, EC theme and then in our directory, we're going to add two files. One is going to be style.css, and the other is going to be uh, functions.php. OK, for now, we're going to focus on the style.css, because this is where we register our theme. So I'm going to add some CSS style comments here. So forward slash. Uh, star to start the comments, uh, forward slash, uh, I'm sorry, star forward slash to uh, end the comments over there. And we're going to start with some uh, parameters here. So the first is going to be theme name. And then we're going to separate the parameters and then their values with the colon. So theme name colon um, EC theme in my case. OK, theme URI. This is just the uh, URL of your theme. So my case uh, is going to be best dev tutorials local. My case, so in your case, you can just uh, just use your website description. I'll just say my child theme. Uh, the description is just uh, for your viewing only. You'll see that in the admin panel. I'll show you that in a second. Author. So in my case, Louis Fico. Okay, author URI. I'll put my uh, website, so East Side Code. Oops, can't spell today. Dot com. Uh, then we'll go ahead and add template. Now, this is what tells uh, WordPress what your parent theme is. So, uh, in this case, I'm making a child theme for the 2017 theme. So. That's this folder name, so I'll be adding 2017. Okay, and then we'll add a version. 1.0. Okay, I'll go ahead and save. And I'll go back over to WordPress here, and I'll just click on themes here to refresh. And you can see that a theme was added, and that's EC theme. If I click on details, you'll see uh, the meta information that I was adding in earlier. Close out of that. And I'll go ahead and I'll activate our theme. Great, our theme is now the active one. There were no errors here. I'll go back over to the front end here of our website and click refresh. And you'll notice that the theme files are loaded, but not the CSS file. So what we're going to do now is add the parent uh, theme CSS file. We're going to add that to the list of files that are loaded on our website. So I'm going to go back to our code editor here and I'll be going to functions.php and I'll open up some PHP tags and what we're going to do is tell uh, WordPress that when you are loading uh, the scripts and style sheets for this stuff in the head tag to add our parent theme style sheet. So we're going to hook onto that. So we're going to say add action. And we're going to hook on to an action called WP in Q scripts. That's in single quotes. And I'll add this uh, to the video description uh, that should be below. Uh, that way you can copy and paste it. So when uh, WordPress is in queuing the scripts, Again, in single quotes, we're going to add our function name and say what to do. So I'll say um, add parent styles. 
Okay, and then we'll end that with a semicolon. In PHP, that's the way that you end a function. Uh, now we're going to say, uh, I'm going to move this down a little bit. So this says, when you're loading your scripts, include our function when you're loading these. So we're hooking onto the script loading uh, action here. So we're going to type in function, and then our function name, which I made add parent styles. And it's not going to take any parameters, so that's just going to be in uh, that's just going to be some blank open and close parentheses, and then our function is encapsulated within curly braces. I'll just add some spacing here, and we're going to say uh, this. We're basically going to tell it right here to enqueue uh, the parent theme style sheet. So we're going to say wp enqueue. I can't spell today. wp enqueue style. wp enqueue style. Now this takes two parameters, or we're going to be passing two parameters, I should say. So the first is going to be the name of the, uh, the parent style that we're adding. So I'm just going to say it's called uh, parent style. And then we're going to do a comma. And then we're going to include the path to that style. So to get the parent directory style, uh, we're going to say get template directory URI and then to append to that in WordPress. So this is going to get the parent uh, theme directory. We're going to say, so go to the parent theme directory and then we're going to say style.css and then we're going to end that with a semicolon. I'll go ahead and click save here and I'll come back to our theme and right now there's no CSS loaded so if I refresh it should add the uh, parent styles uh, theme, which it did. So if I go to view source, and I'll go ahead and scroll down a bit. So we can see here that uh, parent style CSS was added here. And then below that, we have our, uh, our current child theme styles here. So, uh, just a quick bonus, if you followed along, uh, what we'll, I'll be adding now is, right now we can see that the screenshot, uh, there's no preview image of our theme. So what we need to do is just add something, um, just add a file called screenshot.png to our theme directory. So I'm actually gonna do that outside of my code editor, uh, just because that'll be quicker. So inside my theme directory here, uh, I'm going to be adding uh, screenshot.png paste that and I'll come back to WordPress here and I'll just reload and now my sample image is here along with my child theme uh, let's just make sure that it's functioning properly uh, so let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and inspect this with Chrome and so we have a CSS file here, uh, and we can see based on the inspector that it's this is a style sheet. This is a style uh, rule being loaded from a parent style sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and this is where we can override stuff. And I'll go back to my code editor, and I'll go to styles.css, and I'll go ahead and add that style rule, and I'll say uh, font size uh, 40px. Why not? Come back over to WordPress and I'll just reload this. And we can see that I added that style here. And so that's that. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, ask in the uh, descriptions or you can message me uh, through YouTube. If you want any sort of one-on-one uh, -on -one help with this or if you want one-on-one -on -one help with any sort of WordPress customizations, then feel free to message me. My email address is lewis at eastsidecode.com, and I'll also include that in the description. So I hope this helps. Thanks, and have a nice day.